plastic blow motor, Tejas Plastics, led by lean and Six Sigma expert Mike Carnell, is enough of a success story in itself, but the story doesn't simply end there. Mike's other company, CS International, has helped companies for over 15 years apply the same business improvement methodologies that have worked for him in multiple, multiple industries, literally all over the world. And because of his innovative work, getting the word out about Lean and Six Sigma, there are now more businesses running Lean than ever before. And Mike isn't about to stop now. We do a lot of playground equipment. We're doing automotive customers. We have ship products worldwide, okay, depending on which one the products were. We make airport barricades, and those we went international with. We do a lot of shipping in and out of Mexico, and there's two different levels of expectation, and so you've got to be able to move back and forth between those. So you know you spend a lot of time doing that working with the customers, talking to the customers, paying attention to the customers. And that's a good part because when it comes to the factory, I mean, I've got all the people around me I need that can just make it happen. Tejas is a recent uh, member, a recent joinee of the chamber. And so I'm here today to do the official ribbon cutting, welcoming them to uh, membership in the chamber, but also celebrating this wonderful milestone, five years as a viable business that has you know 30 plus employees that is providing opportunities for San Antonio families to raise their own family. As the president of the chamber, it, it gives me great joy to be able to come to a place like this and celebrate and, and really lift a company like this up because at the end of the day, this is where the rubber's meeting the road. This is where innovation is happening. This is where jobs are occurring. This is what's moving our economy forward in a very positive way. Now, we still have some challenges, but I can tell you, if we had more businesses like Tejas Plastics Incorporated, our country would be in a lot better place. When it comes to the area of manufacturing, I think Mike speaks manufacturing. I see him doing that when he comes into a manufacturing floor. Automatically, his instinct turn on and he knows what's going on, what's wrong, what are the things that he needs to fix. And then he uses the tool set that he has, the skill set that he has, to actually quantify, to figure out what are the things that he needs to do to fix it. He's a savant of this kind of field. He listens to the clients, he, he kind of tries to fix problems, find solutions. Today, in examining would a Six Sigma approach to our business yield useful results, Mike has faced that a number of times in the many years that he's been doing this. And so he's, he's very efficient at answering questions about, here's what other people have experienced, and, and there's just a large enough history of that now that you know this is not just by chance. We can figure out how to get you a mold that performs the way it should perform. And there's a big difference. If you don't build it correctly, you can build a lot of cost into your product if it's not done the way it should be done. We can figure out how to run it efficiently, fast. So we're just better at it and that helps us keep our costs down. If we can keep our costs down, we can keep your costs down. And that's how we work with our clients. Mm -hmm.